There are a lot of buzzwords out there. In fact, we've even talked about these buzzwords, organic, non-GMO, all this. Other. Another one is sustainability. They, we're gonna talk about how you are already making strides on your farm for sustainability. Sustainability. Now, at Southland Organics, we talk a lot about organics and sustainability. Well, actually, I don't say much about organics when I deal with all of you commercial poultry people because usually that has meant um, cost too much and ineffective. So, but at Southland Organics, we can't run from the name. But sustainability is a big word nowadays, too. Um, if you've watched this video very much, you know that I'm a big fan of Dr. Mike Zarek here at the University of Georgia and a lot of the things he does, he's a big fan as well, um, uh, about what all he does, mostly in poultry uh, house ventilation. So, I read an article in Modern Poultry where he talked about 18 things that are very common that the poultry industry has done to reach sustainability. Now, it's almost been unintended because two of the main things that we've tried to do is provide a good environment for our birds and to save money. And actually, becoming sustainable has helped in those two things. Now, I'm a big fan of sustainability. Um, I like to work out. Mike, the owner here, and I, we work out. We talk a lot of stuff. And I'll get people sometimes that'll say, hey, what is the best way to do a certain thing? Or what's the best way to grow, you know, exercise, lose weight, blah, blah, blah. And I always say this, it's whatever exercise that you will do, because you have to sustain. So this whole thing of what we're talking about sustainability is all about us being able to sustain what we're doing. 18 of these, I'm not going to be able to memorize all of them, and I try to stay, you know, kind of organic with all this. So anyway, I'm going to read a lot of these off. So number one, when using partial house brooding. So according to Dr. Zarek, we've actually cut heating costs by going anywhere from 10 to 30% by going to partial house brooding. So that's one. Drop ceiling houses over the last little bit, the change in the way houses are built with the drop ceiling to provide better airflow and, and to maintain some temperatures. The move toward built up litter has, uh, created less use or less demand for pine shavings, which is a valuable natural resource. So there's some ways like that. It's also helped in insulating that floor and, and keeping temperatures better. And really all of these kind of gear around saving energy, saving money, so we can sustain, keep on doing this without tapping out all of our resources. Another one is by going with totally enclosed houses. Personally, I think that ought to be a, a good thing because I'll tell you a little story real quick. I was helping, back in the early days, I was helping one of my, my friends hang a curtain, run the cable ties, and I was the one holding the concrete block. Now, a lot of these people that are new growers don't remember curtain houses, but I know you do. I'm holding this concrete block up while he ties off the cable to weigh that thing down, and by golly, if that cable didn't slip out and smash my toe. That's not sustainable. But totally enclosed houses are helping toward sustainable energy, lower energy costs. Um, house tightness guidelines. Now, that's one of the things he mentions. Here's what he's talking about with that. The ability to be able to measure and regulate static pressure to keep that air moving, keep the birds comfortable. Um, circulation fans, and I've sat in many a poultry association meetings and listened to Dr. Zarek talk about the circulation fans and how it can keep and maintain a regulated temperature in the whole house, not just heat pockets and cool cool pockets in the house. So circulation fans, um, attic inlets, bringing warm air in that, off that, energy efficient tunnel fans, um, increased levels of insulation. So having drop ceilings and being able to put more insulation, saving costs on heating. LED lighting, we did a video on LED lighting a while back. Big savings, energy savings. I mean, not just in uh, the life of the actual bulb, but actually bringing down the cost. Um, insulated tunnel doors, variable speed tunnel fans, being able to actually um, 
have the fan run at what is needed and not just a wide open or this, that, and the other. So variable speed tunnel fans, evaporative, evaporative cooling pads. Uh, we've done a couple of videos on those kind of things. Uh, radiant heaters. We did a video on heaters and the three types of comparisons. Uh, radiant heaters, and by putting those in, actually helps not only in savings, but actually keeping the bird warmer and regulating heat through the house. Uh, sidewall inlets, helping that, helping that flow, that airflow. And then the tunnel ventilation system, that mentality of going away from just dropping the curtains and trying to bring air from the side, but bringing a tunnel so that you can move. And I believe Dr. Zark, if I'm not mistaken, I, I believe it was, you needed to move within a minute, that entire 500 feet, you needed to be able to circulate that air within one minute. And you, only real way to do that is with a tunnel ventilation, is by bringing it through and moving that 500 or 600 uh, feet, of, feet of house air out of there and get it moving. Now, the purpose in these, in this video was a couple, couple of reasons. Number one, I want to thank you for you all not only providing food for the world, but doing it in an energy efficient way. Now, Farmers get trashed a lot about, oh, they don't, you know, take care of the environment, this, that, and the other. But I hope this video, who, people who troll our poultry biosecurity channel, will listen to this and realize poultry is doing a lot to keep these things sustainable. And the last one is this, because we're always talking about keeping our own money. So if you can save money, use these 18 items as maybe a checklist of, have I done these on my farm? So maybe there's a couple you haven't done. We could do a video on each one. In fact, we've done a video on three or four of these. But have you done these? Not only will this help you keep more of your money, but chances are the government will help you pay for some of these things because the government is going to reward sustainability. So I hope this video was helpful in a few of those ways. If you got any questions on this, I might can answer some of them, or I can at least put you with somebody who can. So hope this helps. Use it as a checklist. If we can uh, do anything else for you, give me a call, 1-800-608-3755, or email me, alan, at southlandorganics.com.